by the gods. Is that a visitor? Has a brave soul found my grotto? It's been so long since the champions ventured this deep into the forest. Most pass right by the vines at the entrance. Aww. Well, aren't you just adorable? Averting your eyes. That's okay. I'm used to it. Even if it has been years. Don't worry. I don't mean you any harm, little traveler. Despite what you may have heard. I'm really not all that bad. You'd be amazed how stories warp over time. Please. Have a seat. Isn't it peaceful here? I used to not be as appreciative of the solitude as I am now. Time has a funny way of appeasing one's soul. If I do, in fact, still have one, that is. But I digress. Listen. You can put down your weapon now. I noticed it behind your back the moment you stepped in here. Mm hmm. I assure you, if I wanted to hurt you, you'd already be hurting, cutie. You seem smart enough to know I wouldn't mince my words. Drop your weapon. That's better. Now, what story is it that people are saying about me these days? Is it the one where I play the harlot? who committed sacrilege in Athena's temple. They say the goddess herself was so angry with me that she cursed me to this life. I'll let you in on a little secret, champion. That vile act that took place that night. I never asked for such attention. I was one of Athena's most cherished priestesses. I was dutiful, devout, blessed with responsibilities solely to the goddess. And I loved Athena. I worshipped her. I still do. <laughs> <sighs> but what was she to do with me? The real villain, the true monster of my story, is Poseidon himself. He took my beautiful life, my blessed life, and tossed it into the sea the moment he laid eyes on me. I would never have done something so egregious in my beloved temple. So you see, cutie, my goddess didn't punish me. She protected me. The only way she was able to. It's not like Athena could go after Poseidon for his unforgivable acts. She's far too wise for that. Instead, she made sure I could protect myself. I would never fear another again. I was her favorite, 
after all. <laughs> your face tells me you have your doubts. Listen, you can trust me. Why would I lie about it now anyway? What's done is done. I'm at peace. I just get so very bored here. All alone. No company to keep but time. And time can certainly be a patient mistress. Oh, <laughs> did you just blush at that word, cutie? How adorable are you? You know, for someone who appeared to be so scared of me, you certainly are a good listener. Say, is it my voice? that you've been listening to, that's been working its influence around your mind. You really couldn't help but let it lead you through my tail. My sultry tones in your ears. You wouldn't have dreamed of leaving me. See, the gods eventually grew wise of my particular afflictions. So they started to send in the mortals. Their very own champions. The big, strong types who thought that they could best me. They tried. Oh. Cutie, did they try? Those mortals couldn't help themselves. The curiosity was too much. They saw my alabaster skin, caught glimpses of my beauty from their peripherals. You know, even back when I was a priestess, talk spread far and wide of my allure. The draw was too much for them. And when the time came, and my eyes laid themselves upon theirs, it was like the world stopped moving. But those champions were in fact, the ones who went still. Sweetie. Whatever is the matter. No. Don't be scared. It's not like that. You're just so easy to talk to. And it's been so long since anyone's listened to me and none of my visitors have been as cute as you I just can't bring myself to do what I've been created to do I think it's for the best that you stay here with me not as a part of my collection, but as more. We can be so happy together. Forever. In my grotto. It's so beautiful here, isn't it? It's okay. You can trust me. I would never hurt you. Just stay with me, Q.
cutie.